Hi, I'm Rachel, the CEO of Intrinio. In this video, I'm going to show you how to predict future stock prices with options data and Python. Using implied volatility makes this simple and easy. So let me show you how. First of all, what is implied volatility? Implied volatility is a product of the Black-Scholes model, an essential statistic for options traders. It refers to the range of future moves in an underlying stock's price. Implied volatility is the overall market's forecast of the probable price movements expected in a security's price. It differs from realized volatility, which measures the historical volatility associated with a security, not the predicted future movements in its price. It's important to note that the estimated price movements of the underlying stock are not necessarily bullish or bearish in nature. Instead, these estimates are merely a one standard deviation range of price outcomes that an investor can expect the underlying stock price to fall between. From a statistics point of view, you can think of implied volatility as an indicator that provides investors with an idea of the range of outcomes a stock's price could result in by the expiration date over one standard deviation, or roughly 68% of the time. For example, an at-the-money option contract for a $20 stock with an implied volatility of 10% indicates that 68% of the time, the underlying stock price should be between $18 and $22 by expiration. So why does implied volatility impact option premiums? From an option pricing standpoint, the higher the implied volatility, the wider the distribution of pricing outcomes, and therefore, the higher the premium demanded to purchase an options contract associated with that stock. These higher premiums for option contracts with higher implied volatility are expected as the option underwriter must be compensated for the additional risk associated with a wide range of outcomes for the stock's price. Higher implied volatility is one reason why options contracts associated with companies with upcoming earnings are typically more expensive, since reported earnings and upcoming guidance may dramatically impact the underlying stock price, particularly when industry peers have recently reported mixed results. Okay, so what factors impact implied volatility? We now know that higher implied volatility means a higher premium for a contract, but what causes it to rise? In general, any related event surrounding Higher uncertainty will increase the implied volatility associated with the stock's option contracts. Upcoming earnings and Federal Reserve meetings are two examples of events that often impact a stock's implied volatility. Additionally, investors typically look at the volume and open interest associated with a particular stock as heavy demand for a particular option increases implied volatility. Finally, another factor impacting implied volatility is the number of days until its expiration. Typically, the longer the time period, the higher the implied volatility, as a long time horizon allows for many macro and micro impacts to affect a stock's price before the option contract expires. With that college finance course out of the way, we can now use a quality data feed like Intrinio's real-time options API to construct a range of outcomes for an underlying stock price as of specific expiration dates. I'm gonna walk you through it step by step. Okay, step number one. To forecast stock prices, we first need to create a few helper functions to retrieve the inputs for our formula. These inputs are the latest stock price, options expiration list, option strike price from each options chain, and implied volatility from each option chain. These functions use Intrinio's API to retrieve the inputs for our formula. The latest stock price function returns the latest stock price for a given stock. The options expiration list function returns a list of all upcoming expiration dates for a stock. The number of option expirations can vary widely by the stock itself. Popular stocks like Spider have daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly expiration dates, whereas less popular securities such as the Realty Income Corporation and other less liquid, less volatile, and unpopular stocks can have just a handful of expiration dates. Finally, our option strike price and implied volatility function returns the implied volatility and associated strike price of an at the money call option, which aligns closest with the underlying securities stock price. Okay, step number two. The stock standard deviation range uses the strike price, implied volatility, and expiration date supplied from the above functions 
to construct the upper and lower bounds for our one standard deviation forecast range. Again, these upper and lower figures signify the range in which the stock is likely to fall 68% of the time by the expiration date of a particular contract. Now, the math occurring in our stock standard deviation range is actually relatively simple. We first use Python's date time package to determine the number of days until expiration, and then divide the days until expiration by the calendar days in a year, 365, and grab the square root of this number. As mentioned above, the days until expiration are an essential facet of our predictions because the longer the time horizon, the more opportunity a company has to improve the market sentiment or their business operations and increase the stock price or vice versa. We then multiply the square root of expiration days differential with the implied volatility for that expiration date and the current option strike price. The product of this final multiplication is the expected positive or single standard deviation price movement. Finally, adding and subtracting this value from the option strike price provides an upper and lower estimated range of outcomes. Lastly, step number three, we're going to iterate and calculate the forecasted range for all expirations. Our final function, options forecast data set, pulls all the pieces together and will iterate through the list of option expiration dates for a particular ticker. Each iteration will perform the data ingestion and calculations above, returning an upper and lower estimated price forecast for each option train associated with the stock. Finally, the option forecast data set will return a data frame with three columns denoting an expiration date and the equity's upper and lower forecasted price ranges by that expiration date. As you will see, the farther you forecast into the future, the wider the range of expected outcomes based on the implied volatility and time until expiration. Additionally, comparing Apple's predicted price ranges to Tesla's, you can see the impact of higher volatility and the difficulty of forecasting far into the future for highly volatile stocks. All right, now you know how to use options data, Python, and implied volatility to predict future stock prices. It just takes a little bit of math, some basic code, and a high quality data feed. To access the full code, just click the GitHub link in the video description. And if you are looking for a data feed to power this type of analysis, click one of the links below to chat with our data experts or check out our API documentation. Thanks for listening. And as we like to say at Entrenio, we can't wait to see what you build with this data.